So let's discuss the idea of voltage. Now there are, as a reminder, two ways that we can wire a circuit. We can either wire a circuit in series or in parallel. And an example of a series circuit is located right here. Now what makes this a series circuit is you can see that the electrons leave the negative end, come through here, and they go through resistor 1, and they go through resistor 2. Because they go through both of these resistors, this is what defines it as series. Now if we were to say that our voltage here was 12 volts, we know the voltage of the source has to equal the voltage of all the resistors. So if we were to say, for example, that we have 9 volts at resistor 1, then by definition, the voltage at resistor 2 would have to be 3 volts because the total voltage is equal to the voltage at spot 1 plus voltage at spot 2 and so on. Now if we were to talk about circuits in parallel, an example of a parallel circuit looks like this. Now we know this is going to be a parallel circuit because there's going to be two pathways the electrons could go on. They could take this pathway that the green electrons are going on or they can take the pathway that the red electrons are going on. And what you can see is that if you take the red pathway, you'll never enter resistor number one. And if you take the green pathway, you'll never enter resistor number two. Now, because the resistor, the electrons only have to go through one resistor, if they spend 12 volts at the source, they will have 12 volts at resistor one or 12 volts at resistor two. The total voltage in parallel is the same at every spot in the circuit. So if we want to try something just a little bit more complicated, we're going to move down and we're going to do a circuit like this. And I'm going to give you some information. So if you take a look at this circuit, this is both considered a series and a parallel. Let's talk about why. The electrons, yet again, I'll draw my green pathway. And if you look at the green pathway, we're going to go through two resistors, an 8-volt resistor and an unknown resistor. Now we know that the green electron has 12 volts in total, so therefore we can figure out that this unknown resistor has to have a voltage of 4 volts. If we were to look at the red pathway, which will be a longer pathway around. We can see that the red electron is going to go through three resistors. It spends eight volts at its first resistor, some unknown amount here, and then three volts at the final resistor. Now, since it has 12 volts in total to work with, it is going to have one voltage at this spot. Now, if we think about our parallel rules, we can draw that it's a parallel circuit between these two spots I've highlighted in my highlighter. If you follow the green pathway down, it's 4 volts. If you follow the red pathway around, it's also 4 volts. 